Good morning. Today I released a really awesome video that I'm excited about. Go check it out. I'm gonna say it right now. It's on my films channel. It's the Bedina Ice Carving Festival in first person. Super awesome. Link is below. Other than that, it is super snowy out. 32 degrees. Just perfect temperatures to make packing snow. And remember in my last vlog I did on Wednesday? I think one, no, Monday, no, Tuesday. This week, past week, the surprise vlog. I said I was gonna build something cool in the snow, and I am. And I have exactly uh, 45 minutes to do this in, so I'm gonna do something cool in 45 minutes. And then I have a phone meeting. Oh boy, I gotta hurry up. I got a phone meeting, then I got a meeting with a, another friend of mine for some cool business. I might take you along, I'm not sure. And then back to the grind. I think I have one of these out in the garage, the barn. I don't wanna destroy my wife's new cutter. That wouldn't be good. So. Because that's how you make snow. Sickles, cubes. Alright, true story before we get started. Um, this hat that I'm wearing, it always wants to disappear. I don't know why. I have no clue. It's like my favorite hat. And I lost it the first time for, it was like a couple months. And then the second, then I found it. And then like a week later, I lost it again for literally a year. Literally. I heard... Sage Robbins said that word the other day on a Periscope thing, and she said it the best way I ever heard it. You have to slow down that word. Literally. It's literally. I'll get it right. Anyways. <clears throat> so, and then we moved, and I was like, I'm not going to lose this hat again. I'm going to put away. And the entire summer, up until like a week or two ago, we found it again. And it was in the barn somehow. I, I don't know. You should literally drink, there's that word again. You should drink an eight ounce glass of water the first thing you do in the morning, you get up. I had some tea, but I'm drinking this now because I'm about to sweat my butt off building this igloo thing. <clears throat> so refreshing. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah. This is perfect snow. All right, we're gonna turn Baby Cub's house. That's gonna be the foundation. We're gonna build a snow fort. Let's see what we need. So if you wanna build one of these, there's probably not gonna be enough snow this year. But yeah, uh, yeah, wife, if you're watching this, these gloves that you bought me, I think they're made for like a five-year-old kid. They're too small and I have small hands. everywhere. Alright, what are we going to use to make... Man, did I pack it away? I had like this... If that doesn't work, we have enough here. I'm going to use this big red thing. That'll be perfect. Now, the one thing I'm not going to do, which I don't think I have to because the snow is really wet already, but you're supposed to have a water bottle with like a spray bottle. So when you put your bricks, your ice bricks, your snow bricks, you make ice. Hey, you know what? Maybe I'm just inspired by all the people carving ice this, this past weekend that I want to make my own out of snow. All right, let's get to work. First, we got to pick a spot. <clears throat> so I want the snow to be, I want it to be grass on the floor. So we're gonna, hey, look at summer's here. My neighbors are probably watching me and they probably think, I'm going to dig a hole or put some in there or something. I'm that creepy neighbor guy. It's so heavy. Now we're going to build some brick. Let's build brick. I really think it's going to take a lot longer than the 45 minutes that I have to do this. Why? Because I'm the cool dad and I told my little one that I was going to do this. Nothing's gonna stab me. Except for my meeting. It is a phone meeting though. Maybe I can do this while I'm talking on the phone. Would that be unprofessional? All right, so what we're gonna do, here's my goal. I'll fast forward to the end of this so you don't have to watch me make bricks all day. I'm gonna flatten the foundation, some snow. I'm gonna use this 
house has like the structure and I'm literally gonna try there's that word again literally gonna try to build bricks around the whole thing and put a roof and cage that in as a house if I succeed with this this is gonna be fun all right let's go. okay so we made a foundation packed the snow up to it I made it flat the shovel So there it is. Now, I gotta put in some bricks. First brick is laid. Awesome. I'm gonna stack one here. So it looks like we're gonna have one, two, three, four bricks. And then I can start packing in and start building up. Awesome. Okay, foundation has been laid. Always make sure your foundation is strong. I am gonna put two more right here. I think I'm gonna do that now. And then we'll do half bricks at the front and then we'll build up and over. It's gonna look so cool. I don't like winter, but stuff like this I enjoy. So I'm not quite done yet. My meeting starts in like three minutes. I think I'm gonna text these guys that I know, I'm friends with them, and just tell them, let me call you later or bump it back an hour. Today, I have to put my kids first before business. So, and I'm sure my friends understand. So, uh, I gotta finish this because she's gonna love it when she gets home. It's all for good reason. Besides this meeting, we got some time. It's gonna be good. Now my three o'clock meeting, I can't cancel that. That I can't cancel because I actually have to go there. People are waiting on me. So let's finish this. This is what I got. <clears throat> so, so far, I got a floor in there. It's looking pretty sweet. I can't see anything on this camera. Hopefully you guys can see it. But yeah, I gotta patch that side. And I gotta go up a layer. I think about like two more layers if that. And then we're done. Let's go. And I had to get these glasses. Because, well, it's not that sunny anymore. So here's what I'm gonna do. Snowman, you can have my glasses. There. Okay, cool. You can wear my glasses. All right, let's get to work. Okay. <laughs> there is all the snow I've used so far. And if you can see, I've built up around this thing. But I gotta fit in there, because I gotta pack the inside of this thing so those are walls. Make the floor, because I won't be able to get in there, I don't think, once I put these two sides on. It'll be too narrow, only for baby cub. Oh, here we go. I'm hungry. This thing looks sweet. Look at it. And it's starting to snow. Perfect. If I close this in, the snow will land on it and make it look this big. Uh, this ball of snow is going to be awesome. Putting the second layer on was extremely challenging because I couldn't just flop the brick down. I had to make sure the bottoms were completely solid and I had to let it set it down. And I broke a few, but it's okay because it's perfect packing snow. This is awesome. So cool, dude. I think Baby Cub's gonna love it. Or she's gonna be so upset that I buried her house. We'll see. Okay, Baby Cub just came home. Let's see what she thinks of it. Sweetheart, I built you something really cool. I'm not done yet. But well, we can play with it later, not now. You gotta but when it snows it. later, <laughs> it'll be covered. It'll be so awesome. You got a little fort. A little snow fort. Want to go see it? Okay, let's see if she likes it. You like it? What do you think? What do you think about it? Do you think it's awesome? Beauty built you a fort. Hopefully she likes it. <clears throat> I know. I'm not done yet, but go inside. Do you want to go see it real quick? Yeah. Okay. And she doesn't have winter clothes on. Hurry up. You can't stay, though, because you don't have any winter clothes on. Whoa. Is that awesome? Yeah. Look at outside. Look around here. Come over here. Go with Daddy real quick. Look at I built these walls with snow. Isn't that cool? Snowman? Your snowman is over there. Hey, what do you say? Follow me. Follow you? Okay. I love your boots. Yeah. Wow. So cute. You want her fall, babe. She hey, have... do you want to go back in your fort when I'm done? <laughs> hey, do you like your fort? Yeah. You can play in it later. Love you. Okay, officially done. The yard 
looks a mess. But look at this thing. I'm gonna show you full on. So I didn't want to. I didn't want to add those two bricks because she needed to get in there. So I left it open for her, especially in case of an avalanche. So I was able to pack the roof. <laughs> Let me back up, and get the whole profile. I was able to pack the roof, which is really cool. Let's go inside, shall we? So here's the inside of this place looks like. I was not able to get it where she can open that. Maybe I should see what I can do here. Ah, come on. She's gonna wanna open this thing. Oh, my hands hurt from this. It's not perfect, but she can open it. I try to make the floor as smooth as possible for her. But yeah, I was able to build a little, I was really close this in. I think it looks good. Now it's time to go to my meeting. Let's get back to business. Oh. Bye. 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 Love you. Love you. See ya. Without ruining my new shoes, my red ones in the snow. But hey, I got to. Oh, here there's Haley. Hey, Lamala. Hey, Lamala. What? Look what I did for baby cub in the backyard. <laughs> How was school? <laughs> Alright, gotta go. Off to my next meeting. Alright, done with the meeting. That went well. I got a lot of work to do, but it's, I think it'll work out. I think it's gonna be great. All in all, I'm excited to venture out and test my skills in a new level and get into some new style of uh, marketing. All good things. So, you gotta go out there and you gotta do what you feel is gonna challenge you. Because if you're not challenged, you're not going to grow. So I go after the brands, the companies, the people, the friends that will challenge me the most openly. So let's do this. I have a little bit of time left over for my meeting. Might as well stop over here at Midwest Cheer Elite Cleveland. Bam. Stop in and show my second home away from home, my family, some love. Figured it might make this vlog really cool. Of course it will. Let's move with Cheerilee. Let's go check them out. But that's not disco. Though, yes, right? it is. Seventies group costume. Excuse me. What's up, buddy? Hi. What's up? Hi. Can I come around? Can I? Yeah. Can I come in the home? <laughs> okay, just left cheer. It was awesome. I didn't cheer. I'm just saying. Uh, Midwest Cheer Elite. Check them out. Their video. I'm gonna put the link below. They're just awesome. I just wanted to pop in and say what up. And that's what I did. Hope you guys are enjoying your Friday this weekend. Hopefully you're getting into some cool. I know I am. Go check out those videos that I did because I want to share them and I want you guys to love them. Love them up. Explode those like buttons. The little thumbs up, the little like, click them. Those are very important to me. How do we want to go home? to be a sweet sunny day oh yeah a perfect afternoon perfect vlog for some firehouse sub so yeah that's what I'm doing we're not gonna go shopping I'm actually going to stop over here and get the wife and I some firehouse subs and bring that home because why not let's make this vlog interesting I really like firehouse subs if you haven't had them you should try them they're really really good the thing is, I'm going to be getting a whole bunch of food here. A whole bunch of food. We'll see how this goes. Go. Oh, my lights are on. Oh, and I dropped my keys. So I'm going to be getting a whole bunch of food, and I don't know how I'm going to fit all of that and the drinks in my car. We'll find out. Uh, I'm going to try something different. No, I'm not. I always get the Firehouse Hero. Because that is really good. I think that's what I'm going to get. What are the sizes you get again? Uh, 8 inch and 12 inch. Okay, so I'll do an 8 inch and it's going to be the, the Hero. It's really not even cold out. I got all this food. I don't even know how I'm going to fit all this in the car. It'll work. So assuming that gets home and stays that way will be a miracle. Because I really think I'm going to lose those cups. I think I got everything. You ever do that where you leave something on the hood of your car? Okay, we get it. My seatbelt. 
You ever have that where you leave something on the hood of your car that you set up that you can drive off? So I'm hoping that's not my subs, but I got them all right there in my cups, in my camera, in my pool glasses. All right, now I gotta jump on the highway, go home and eat. 20 bucks, but it was so worth it because Firehouse Subs is so delicious. I know, 20 bucks, I could have went out and bought a whole bunch of groceries. And that's exactly what we were supposed to do today, but yeah. All right, I hope you guys have a happy weekend. Awesome. Like, share, subscribe. I think I said it before in the vlog, but I'm going to say it again because repetition is the mother of skill, right? 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 Improve the quality of your life. Challenge yourself, educate yourself, and learn to let go of things. The more you give less... Wait, no. How's it go? I don't know what I'm trying to say. Let's end it with this. The way we do anything is the way we do everything. It's kind of what I was trying to say. Basically... Don't get so caught up. No, what am I trying to say? Basically, don't let things bother you as much. Don't let things bother you as much. That's it. That's all I had to say. All right. Just enjoy your life. It's all about the adventure. All right. Just remember, anyone who's ever been successful or that is successful right now did not get there by taking shortcuts. They did not get there by getting up late, showing up late, right? They got there by getting up early, going to bed late, losing sleep, working super hard. You get the picture? You gotta want it. How bad do you want it? And you can't ever stop. Because as soon as you stop, that could have been your moment. You just gotta keep going. That is where passion by far overrules everything else. If you're not passionate about something, you're not gonna be able to follow through. I run on passion. And I don't, I don't do anything that I'm not passionate about. All right, guys, that's it. Beautiful sunset. This is a tight fit. I can do it. Big Zemi. Wow.